Japan hiking its sales tax for the first time in a decade and a half on April 1st, Andy. And this is no April Fool's joke. Abe first stimulates the economy, tries to get spending moving. Now it's like he's letting the air out of the tires. Very nicely put, Tara. Uh, but you do need the Japanese government, which is the most indebted amongst all advanced nations, as you know, to sh to show some commitment to fiscal correction. And that's what is happening on April Fool's Day, as you said. Japan's sales taxes, which are going up, are currently rather low by European standards. Now, besides, the government has at least three lines of defenses, uh, which is what I'm arguing in my piece, to deal with the threat of a deflationary slump uh, arising out of this sales tax increase. Investors, though, Andy, can't be happy about the direction of Abinomics. We're seeing the Nikkei at the end of the first quarter, the major loser in terms of the world's biggest markets. Yes, the first quarter was a washout, but I'm more optimistic about the second quarter because, you know what, you would have the government channeling back into the economy most of the additional tax collections from this sales tax increase which is kicking in. Now, if they can do that in an accelerated fashion over the first half, the market will welcome it. Then there is, of course, the bold deregulation of the Japanese economy that uh, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe promised just this last Friday. Uh, that's the second line of defense in my argument. And then finally, the final line of defense is the Bank of Japan. Uh, because the BOJ will certainly expand its asset purchase program if it does see a slump in the consumer economy, delaying the achievement of its 2% inflation target. Japan's sales tax hike starts on April 1st. The Nikkei down rather badly at the end of the first quarter, but there is hope, says Breaking Views.